Okay, so I didn't get the job of... Uh, actually, we won't worry about what the... I thought it wasn't real. I thought it was a scam, and I ended up getting an interview. Uh, it turned out it was legit. Uh, talk about a surreal experience, but I didn't get the job. So uh, we're going to go back to posting uh, obnoxious videos every now and then. Like I said, it's going to be like, you know, still the end of the year because I've got like a lot of inner work and a lot of outer work to do before we start getting back into like hobby videos and, and being consistent with, you know, actual content. In the meantime, I'm just going to whinge and complain. Um, maybe post a video on music night, uh, some, you know, an opinion on, on bands or whatever, and then, you know, piss off a good portion of the rest of the internet population. Um, but I'm happy to do that. I can do that now. Um, it was, yeah, it was surreal. I would like to say, um, but I don't want to, you know, get too in like too much detail because I like to, I like to discuss real things, uh, you know, like inner kind of stuff, um, with a small vocabulary and the emotional intelligence of a toddler. But I find that stuff's kind of real, you know. I don't post all the, you know, good stuff in my life. Like sometimes I'm, I might post little things here and there of what's good, but um, I never wanted to be the, you know, look how amazing I am and, you know, follow me, nothing goes wrong in my life, because that's not real. Uh, and I'm hoping that people are starting to get that, because not, not everyone has... I don't know, we all go through battles, we all do hard stuff. Um, but I like to talk about the stuff that no one talks about. I mean, it is becoming a big thing, you know, they have like a lot of the mental health awareness stuff and whatever, but I, I, I don't know, uh, it, yeah, that's, if I, if I could vocalize how I, <laughs> how I view that kind of stuff, I mean, I don't think it's bad, but I think the way it's like, it needs to be recognized. It's a thing, but everyone goes through stuff, you know, and we push forward and we go through it. Not everyone, um, has, you know, can, can see in other people's lives that everyone else is going through stuff as well. And I, I think a lot of the younger populations maybe, uh, watch a lot of social media and stuff and see these people where nothing is wrong and then they go well how come my cake didn't turn out like their cake um hey you know what it's your cake it you know it's but the thing is you know you'll get the good with the bad like I've got a lot of good things going on but I don't it's not that it's boring I just don't think you can learn anything from it um the only thing you might be able to learn from it is you go, oh, that might be an experience that I want to try. That's about it. But I think the, the hardest challenges that you grow from are the challenges that you kind of give yourself. Like your own brain is probably harder on you than anything else. Uh, and um, yeah, there was something else I was going to add to that, but I can't think of it right now. And I think that's everything I need to update.